My name is Carl Morley. Um, I'm, I'm the Senior Vice President of Fresh Foods for Research. I've been with Research for five years. Uh, been in the industry my entire life. Uh, I'm actually a third generation meat cutter. My grandfather and my dad all cut meat and so it's kind of in, in my genes, in my DNA, so that's who I am. There's some confusion between wet aging and dry aging. The difference is, is the time frame. You're almost 10, month, 10 times the amount of time to achieve the same results that you get with dry aging. So in, within three weeks, we can get a beautiful, flavorful steak, where with, uh, with wet aging, 10 times, 30 weeks. Wet aging, let's talk about this. This is actually wet aging right now. This is how wet aging is done. It is in this bag. It, uh, it can stay in there, it can stay in there for 30 weeks if it won. First meat market I ran was for, for my family's uh, little market. My grandfather uh, would come down and say, I'm gonna have a party in about four weeks. I need you to save all of these cuts for me and start dry aging it. We would set that aside, it's something we did, and we would put it in the cooler and let it begin the process of dry aging. Now, what you're gonna see here, this is off of the uh, closest to the back of the animal. This is close to a strip steak. And as you can see, it looks very similar to a strip. Nice portion of this is you're gonna see certified Angus beef, what makes it really, really great. You see the little flecks of marbling. The, the nice thing about certified Angus beef is it works wonderfully with dry aging because of that flex. Well, how does dry aging work? It's like if you have a, 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 a sauce on your stove and you're reducing that sauce down, you got that pan swirling a little bit, and that moisture moves up and out of that sauce, what's left? All the flavor. There's lots of ways to dry age that really work well, but this is the best one. We have a dry aging case. Why is it better? We control the temperature, we control the humidity, and the temperature, it's just above freezing. That's where we want it. We want to slow that respiration down and then let that moisture come on out of that uh, cut of meat. Now, this is, this is where we want to get to. This is it. This is the stuff that you want to see on this product. This is 21 days of aging. Look at how beautiful that is. That bark that's all over that. That has pulled that moisture out. That's going to deliver a great flavor profile. We're going to go over here and cut this and let you see what the interior of this looks like. You know, so when, when you do this, you see the bark on there, well, what happens to that? We cut all of that off for you. That doesn't go home with you. You don't pay for that. But for this cut, I want to leave that on there so you can see how, how deep that goes into the nice and firm. Look at that. You can see the, 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 uh, the bark on the outside. That, it's not as pliable as what it was before. That's, that's very firm. Why? The moisture's gone. And so that's gonna be an absolutely wonderful, robust taste to you on the grill. That's the white tablecloth steak that you get to have at home.